Got the hatch all jacked up. About to pull the tranny out of there. Not sure how long this is gonna take me. Shouldn't be too long. I just don't know how much effort I want to put into it today. But if everything goes by smooth, I'll try to have it done by tonight. Hopefully it's like five o'clock right now. So we'll see. I still gotta pull the other tire off, get both the axles out, and pull all the bolts off holding the tranny on and get the motor mount off, drop it, pull it off, and I'm just go I'm just gonna go ahead and weld that gear back onto the flywheel. So I've been talking to some guys, I guess that's the only way you can really fix the OEM gears because they're just press fitted on from factory. So all I can really do is hope that I can get it on there and line it up all good. And I'm just gonna do like three welds with the TIG welder and that should hold it just fine. I wanna pull it, I still wanna pull it off just to make sure I get everything lined up and make sure there's nothing else damaged in there. But yeah, I'm gonna get to that and we'll see where that takes us. Jacked up high enough. All one piece. Oh yeah. Damn, look at that. Custom AF. Wow. That's neat. So there's supposed to be a nut right there, and I guess we've been driving it around with no nut on the motor mount. Like, that's just free to come out, so that's a little sketchy. So glad that didn't come out on us. But right now, that's the only thing holding the whole side up. We got all the bolts out. Okay, uh, cables are unhooked. Everything's good to go. Got the jack under there to catch it. So I'm just gonna tap this guy out. Got to pull the alternator off too, or else when I let the engine tip, this pulley's gonna. Hit on the frame right there. Spilled so much fucking tranny fluid everywhere too. Your gear fell off. Oh. <laughs> hey look guys, there it is. Does this just press in normally? Yeah, it's pressed on. Yeah, see it's it's a little shaved on the sides, but I'm gonna send it and weld it back on. Should be good. I just gotta pull the flywheel off in the clutch. Good thing I Cut my little alignment tool for the clutch. What are you doing? Uh. <laughs> Squirted. So just got the clutch and flywheel off. And uh, the hatch might be down for a bit. Because this clutch is pretty destroyed. This is a comp stage 5 four puck. And it's missing some chunks. So... Probably don't want to run that anymore. Probably gonna to have to get a new clutch and pressure plate, whole new kit. And on the flywheel, it seems okay at first glance, but if you look really close, there's a whole bunch of itty bitty little cracks in it. Just from, I guess, all the force of that clutch and power this thing makes. So, probably gonna to have to get a new flywheel as well, because I don't want that to turn into a grenade. So. I've never seen this before. I'll still, I'll get some information about it, but I'm pretty sure I have to get a new 
flywheel for sure. I was gonna, when I saw the clutch, I was like, eh, fuck it, I'll just throw it back together, because I'm sure it'll last a few more pulls, even though it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's fucked, but I was just gonna say fuck it, but I really don't trust this flywheel whatsoever, so if I'm gonna get a new flywheel, I might as well get a new clutch and everything too, so I don't have to deal with that anymore. So, yeah, that's where I'm at on the hatch. So it's probably going to sit for a bit. I was planning on just getting that ring welded on, or that gear welded on and throwing it all back together by tomorrow. But it looks like that's not going to happen. So it's going to be sitting for a little bit until I get some parts in for it. But I'm thinking at least for right now, once I get all that put back together, we'll try to make at least a couple more videos because I still have a lot of time to get the emissions done. So we'll see, it just depends how long it takes me to get the parts in the mail. And yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. So it's going to be chilling for a while.